Hello everyone, Ali here. So today's video is a very special one. It is a vlog of my experience heading down to the Blizzard campus in Irvine, California to film the new expansion announcement video. I feel very fortunate to have been a part of this because I was told that I was actually the first content creator ever to be included in an announcement video. So that is a huge honor to say the least. Thank you so much Blizzard for inviting me out. So this video is me, you know, taking you through my day. I was on the campus for about eight hours filming and I was told to do a series of challenges. And with each challenge, I learned more information about the new expansion. So, and in between the challenges, there was a lot of downtime because they had to set up for the, the next one. And in that downtime, Celestalon, Chad Nervig, one of the uh, game designers of Hearthstone was nice enough to give me exclusive interviews, telling me all that was coming in the new expansion. And you get to see my reaction to it um, as he's telling me all of this. I hope you all enjoy watching the vlog and, and seeing what it was like to be a part of this. Ooh, it is early. Okay, 7.49, we're making it. We're panicked, we gotta be there at eight, we got 10 minutes. Okay. Ah, I had some crazy dreams last night, stressful dreams, so I feel like I'm a little, I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. Pulling up to the main gate. The king has returned. I feel like this is like the gates of Mordor or something. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the beautiful, uh, beautiful pictures. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hello. We are here at the Ice Cream Citadel Green Room. I'm here with Chad, also known as Celeste Long. Hey. And he's got some exciting news for me, apparently. Yeah, yeah. So you do, we just filmed the intro a second ago, and uh, Death Knights. Death Knights. Death Knights. Plural. Death Knights class. Death Knight class? Class, class. As in, like, full, legit 11th class. As in, yes, an 11th class. Yes. I, I don't think I realized. I think I <laughs> thought Death Knights... We're coming back. We're legit talking about a single, oh, yeah. singular 11th class. Yes, yes. But, uh, but specializations of Death Knights as well. Wow. Okay. Yes. There. Hero power? You want to know the hero power? I, wanna, I, I mean, can I know the hero power? The hero power is ghoul charge. Ghoul charge? Okay. Summon a 1-1 one, one ghoul with charge. It dies at end of turn. Charge, you say? Charge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I am. Uh, I'm a little nervous hearing that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, charge. Charge can be scary, but charge it does die end of turn. It dies at end. Cost that, two. Cost two. Okay. okay. And they they have another mechanic that uh, the fact that it dies is pretty important for. Ooh. Okay, that, that would make sense, Death Knight. There's death Knights kind of care about kind of death a fair bit. Death it's, rattles, something along those lines. Death is a pretty core uh, mechanic for Death Knights. Okay, so. all right. And <laughs> how many uh, cards in this expansion? Well, how, how many cards are in a normal expansion? 135. 203. 203. Yes. Is this the first time that you guys have ever done this? Yes. Wow. So this is this is by a significant margin the the largest single card drop. Oh my gosh! I don't even know how to process that information because yeah, it's yeah. that's Death, significantly more cards actually. Death Knights for a comparison, Demon Hunter launched with forty five. Death Knights launched with sixty eight. Oh my god! Fifty percent more cards. Wow. Yeah. That's I think that's pretty cool actually because yep. I feel like that gives you way more way more to work with probably mm -hmm. right and we don't cut into the other the one thirty five for the other classes in neutral are still the same okay. so it's purely on top of that wow yeah this is very exciting <laughs> I met Nick here he's going to be my. Uh, person of the day, Gambler. I think, yeah. <laughs> taking me around, and uh, yeah, we're excited. 
I don't Yellow. know what's going on, but I'm very, very excited. Thank you. I've got butterflies and I can't wait. The first challenge here was me digging through uh, actual snow. This is real snow, by the way. Um, a big mound of it in, in a tent outside. And I had to shovel through uh, the snow to find the first rune stone. And eventually Chad wound up helping me. <laughs> you said you couldn't have a snow fight in Southern California. <laughs> Love it. We just wrapped on the frost uh, snow section of one of the challenges. Found this rune stone. Chad was uh, my lovely assistant in the digging process. <laughs> How'd it go? We had we had we had some fun. Yeah. A few uh, snowballs may have gotten thrown. Yes. <laughs> Here, one or two. It all worked out. <laughs> all right, Chad. What else is new in the new expansion? Well, uh, we we've talked about uh, things dying, and that's important. Uh, and death knights also like to to raise things from the grave, like undead. So we have a new minion type. Ooh! Undead. The undead minion yes, type. Yes, yes. All right. There, there have been a considerable number of undead in the in the game before, but mm -hmm. not as a minion type. Wow. Zombie chow. Of course. Like, yeah. Wow, that's very exciting. So we, we have gone back and added the undead minion type to over a hundred past minions. There's tons of them. Wait, you're going back and adding yeah, yeah. undead. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think wow. undead is the second most populated minion type now, next to beast. Are oh, you guys think. balls to the wall. You Don't quote me on around. that if that's not exactly right. But I think <laughs> I think that's the case. Dang. Okay. Um, also we ran into these sort of problems like hey is this we've got like bone drake or mm -hmm. skeletal dragons. What type is that? It's gotta be undead. Maybe. But it's a dragon. But it's a dragon. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I see the conundrum. Yeah. It's gotta be a, a dragon then, I guess. I don't know. What did you wind up deciding? Both. Oh my god, it's both! Yeah. <gasps> yeah, we had a dual minion types. That's amazing! That's yes. never happened before, right? Correct, correct. Yes. Wow. So, and it's not just for undead. Patches is finally a, a demon pirate. No. Cookie is a murloc pirate. Wow, so this is the not undead unique Quilbor. to Undead. This yeah, is not unique. not just for Undead. But oh. but Undead were definitely the, the like the catalyst for like sure. okay, now we, we really need to because there's a lot of, of things that are like dual type. I was gonna undead. say there are definitely cards in history where I'm like, this has to be this, you know, like yeah. or but I can see you have to you yes. traditionally had to pick one or the other. And so now you're like, there are no rules, we can we can, we can do <laughs> Yeah, we can do what what's right there. This is going to yeah. make um, like discovering very interesting, interesting. like the yeah, yeah. pool of cards that you yeah. discover is probably going to be magnified, right? For a, for a lot of those mini types things, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 there's so much new stuff going on. Yeah. Challenge number two. I don't know what to expect yet, but uh, I'm along for the ride. We'll see what happens. In the second challenge here, I needed to dig through a casket of <laughs> of dirt with supposed worms. I didn't realize that they were fake worms because I was blindfolded at the time. Just dug through some worms and uh, dug through some dirt uh, with some fake worms. And honestly, it was pretty fun. <laughs> I kind of like, liked it. It was, a, it was a good one. You do have a lot of prep work that, that hopefully you're gonna, gonna mess up Yes. Pretty quickly, so. We've also. been taking you through the journey as as the day has been unfolding. Yeah. So, with each hour, we're getting we Draw closer to the <laughs> end. We draw closer to the final <laughs> challenge. I yeah. might not look as put together in that the end of this next challenge here. It's but, true. All right. Anyway. Uh, we were talking about the the card sets for, for Death Knights. Yes. Uh, so, there's a prologue. Okay. Uh, just just like Demon Hunter had a prologue to go mm -hmm. through to unlock the class, similar sort of thing here. Lost your phone. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> uh, if you like story, it is it is a very cool story. It's awesome. it's Arthas's story of how Arthas became a Death Knight and then ultimately the Lich King. I love that because there's some of us that haven't 
played. Haven't played. Haven't played WoW and don't. Well, that was all Warcraft three. Or Warcraft three. Wow. Yeah. Okay, actually, yeah, yeah that, of course. Yeah. And so I don't actually know the full full story of well, that this progression. All, so this, this is a I won't spoil chance. anything okay. for you, but you'll you'll find some major lore characters in there. All right. Awesome. Uh, and ultimately become the Lich King. But anyway, you so you unlock the class. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also unlocks their core set, mm -hmm. all for free. Uh, their core set is 32 cards, 32, which is almost just under twice the size of all the other classes. Wow. That's going to stay that way for well, the future. Like we're, their core, Death Knights are just going to have a large core set wow. forever. Um, then there's also a, uh, it's kind of like a mini set, except for it's not part of another set. Uh, it's called, uh, it's this bundle called Path of Arthas, mm -hmm. uh, that is 26 cards, uh, and three, uh, decks that utilize, uh, those. So you have a, a, uh, a Frost deck, an Unholy deck, and Said third deck. rune that, that, that Allie will discover. Hopefully, hopefully Soon. she'll find it. Also an expansion. We, we've barely talked about the actual expansion itself. It is itself. true. So the, I will say that the Path of Arthas is not in replace of the mini set. There's still going to be a mini set as well, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Yep. This is going to be one of the hypest, I think, expansions ever because there's going to be so much to try. The final challenge was definitely the messiest of all the challenges, and it also took the longest to assemble. So after that second one, we had about two hours of waiting around, and so the suspense was definitely building of like, what the hell is this? What's going on? And of course, it was the balloons of blood that I needed to pop through and find the last runestone. And the caveat of this challenge was that we couldn't do it a second time, of course, because it would have been way too messy. So we had to, you know, get it right the first time. I definitely was popping the balloons way too fast in the beginning and they were like, slow down. Um, but eventually I think we got it. And oh my God, I was covered in fake blood as you saw. We just wrapped the final challenge. <laughs> Chad, what do you think? <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for putting up with us. Oh yeah, no, I, uh, this protective suit, I've got blood all in me right now, all the way down. <laughs> but honestly, it was worth it, and I didn't know what to expect of like the taste, but it honestly tastes like chocolate. Like, yeah, it yeah. tastes sweet. Yeah. It's not uh, gross, you know, by any means at all. I think the, I think the hairnet did for the shower cap. Yeah, honestly, I was that. most concerned about the new, the yeah. fresh hair that I yeah. got done, and I think we're, we're fine. It's so. the right color anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but yeah, awesome. I've never done anything like this before, so I feel very, uh, very fortunate to have been a part of this. Um, thank you guys, honestly. Yeah. We're, we're glad to have you. This yeah. was a lot of fun. <laughs> got my change of clothes and I'm headed to the showers. Looking great. <laughs> I'm very sticky and gross. <laughs> all right, the day is done. I'm showered from all the blood and that was an absolutely incredible experience. I feel really, really lucky to have been a part of it. It's been seven plus years of playing Hearthstone and you know creating content and being a part of a production like this is really, really cool. So, Thanks, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video the behind the scenes of everything that went down and I hope you enjoy the new expansion. Okay, we're back. So, so we, were, we were just talking and, and uh, uh, about, uh, we, I mentioned earlier uh, Reborn <laughs> on Undead. Yes. Uh, and that's, Reborn is coming back as a, as a permanent uh, evergreen keyword. Thematically, it makes too much sense not to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, you'll, See it commonly on Undead. Do you remember, uh, we, we've made several cards that are ragers, like Magma Rager, mm -hmm. course, Ice Rager, Ice Rager yeah. all three mana five ones. Yes, of course. Uh, well, we, we made another rager. Uh, <laughs> one of our designers, Leo, had this idea, and it was, it's brilliant. Uh, it, is, it is a three mana five four. Breaking tradition here. No. Okay. Oh. Reborn. Okay. Battle cry, die. 
I love that. Okay, so so it ends so up being five, a five, five one. one. It ends up being, <laughs> being a five one as as is tradition. Oh, that's, that's cute. Uh, well, but, it could get randomly summoned as a yes, you know, right. Uh, yeah. It can get randomly summoned. It can mm-hmm. get resurrected. Oh, uh, great, it can cool. get summoned out of your hand. Uh, it can. Uh, you just had an undead die, so it triggers your undead synergy cards oh, too. Honestly, that card will. I mean, depending it might on be OP. Yeah, well, we'll I mean, see. Like, it is. It is a three mana five four reborn. <laughs> I'm like, it has the words "battle cry die" on it. Which yeah, is great. But, but like <laughs> thinking about it with all the synergies that could go along with it, I'm like, that, mm-hmm. that could be pretty good. Yeah. But then you you can't nerf it to being a four mana or something because there just would be like, no, you, no, you can't do that. No. So uh, that's cool. We could nerf the health on it, but sure, you know, if, sure. if we have to, we, we we think this is this is about right, and it's fun. I love that, and yeah. uh, its name. Uh, Scourge Rager. Scourge Rager. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, it is undead, not not an elemental. Uh, and but we we kept the 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 elementals have that like sort of body shape like that. You like the like a, yeah. a cone of fire or water or whatever, and then arms. And we did that with a scourge, except for it's 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 kind of this grotesque zombie guy that only has one leg. Oh. Uh, so so it looks like the right. <laughs> Shape, the right shape. The right shape for a rager. We we haven't talked about the expansion. Yeah, let's I, talk I, I about can, it. Let me tell you about the expansion. Yeah, let's do it. So the expansion uh, is called March of the Lich King. Okay. The end of like Warcraft three, Arthas became the Lich King, and kind of went into hibernation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, if you've heard of Wrath of the Lich King, the mm-hmm. World of Warcraft expansion was sure. when he woke up and. Scourge invasion. Scourge is his army of the undead. Mm-hmm. Scourge invasion of the, of the world, uh, and then expansion takes place with all players going to off to fight the Lich King. Got it. Uh, but so our story is March of the Lich King, which focuses on the specifically the Scourge invasion of Silvermoon City. Ooh. Silvermoon City is the capital city of the Blood Elves. Okay. So we get a Blood Elf focused expansion for, Ooh. for so. Uh, half of our classes are sided with the Scourge, and half are sided with the Blood Elves. I love that. Awesome. And I think that's our cue. That's our cue. To go have a fun challenge. Let's do it. There's still so much. It's crazy. Yes. Yes.